What's up guys, this is Gerald. Today I have a really exciting project that I want to show you and that is blacking out this rear center trim using a carbon fiber vinyl wrap. Now the original color of this trim piece is gray and I decided to black out this center piece using a vivid black 4D True R carbon fiber vinyl wrap and it looks amazing. I thought using a carbon fiber instead of a regular gloss black just give it an extra unique look to the car. Now in this video, I'm going to show you the entire process from beginning to the end from removing this panel from the trunk body to installing the carbon fiber wrap on the trim piece and putting the panel back on the trunk. Now if you're just interested to see how to remove this panel from the trunk for whatever reason that is, perhaps you want to black it out using plastic dip instead. I'm going to post a separate shorter video showing you how to remove this panel and I'll put the link down in the description below and at the end of this video. With that, let's get started. First thing we're going to do, we're going to remove this gray trim piece right here. So this gray and white piece here, this is actually a separate piece from the trunk body that you can remove. So in order to remove that, we are going to open up the trunk and we're going to need to remove all of these this panel right here. So we're going to remove, we're going to start with this one first. We're going to pop this off. It's held by four pins. And then after that, we're going to move to the side. We're going to remove this side panel right here. And then we're going to remove the entire back panel here all together. So let's get started. Just pull it gently. Yeah, so that's being held by these two pins. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna open these access doors. So we have one, two, and three in the middle. And to do that, we're just gonna use a flathead screwdriver. There's this notch right here in the middle, and all you have to do is stick in the flathead screwdriver and just pry it open. And it should come out pretty easy. that you want to pry open this door handle so we have one here and the other one right here so you just want to kind of pry these open because there's some screws there that you want to open once you open the door handle cover as I told you before there are two screws that are holding the panel so you just want to open these using a 10 millimeter socket Alright guys, the next thing we're going to do here, we should just be able to pull this panel back. Alright guys, just want to show you what the back panel looks like. So it's being held by nine different white pins and two red pins and when i removed this one came off one of the white pin came off but it's pretty easy it's for this one and all you have to do is simply just put it back and the other one is actually stuck right here and again to remove this is pretty simple just grab like a scissors and just kind of pry it out this pin will go on this side right here I guess once we remove the back panel we're gonna see what's holding this gray trim piece to the trunk so let's go under so you can get a better view all right so I am right at the center and that gray trim piece is being held by 
that screw right there. So that's one. And then two, that's another one. And then if you go to the left, that's another screw right there. So those are all just 10 millimeter socket, the same size. And if you go to the right, that's another screw so right let's there. Let's go ahead and remove the screws. And we start with this one right here. Now let's remove the other one here. Right there. There's a screw. Okay. Now we're gonna go right here, right inside this hole. I guess in theory, I should just be able to pull this piece off the truck. So let's see. So as you can see, these are where the screws go. So we have the screws go here, one, two, three and then four and then the white pins these white pins there that will go right here so one two three four right and then you see the red pins this one so these two will actually clip to your tail light so it goes right there there's a slot for it, it goes right there and the last piece which is this piece right here so there's actually a clip a clip right there so that clip is what's holding the edge right there. All right, I cleaned this piece. I actually cleaned this in my bathtub using dish soap to make sure I get rid of any grease. And now I'm going to put a masking tape. I'm just gonna use a regular scotch tape, painter's tape for this purpose. And we are going to put the tape over the white surface area, the white panel. And guys, it doesn't have to be that precise because really the whole purpose of, of putting the tape is just to make sure that you can maneuver the film easier. That way it doesn't stick to this white surface area. Alright guys, the next thing we want to do, we just want to wipe these down with an isopropyl alcohol. 70%. I'm just going to use a rag to do that and just wipe down the surface area, the gray trim piece where I'm going to wrap that with a bit of rag. For this project, I'm going to use this Black True R Vinyl Wrap by Vivid. This is what the patterns look like, it's very nice. And on the back, it has this Vivid marking. Says so their favorite XPO. Now this vinyl wrap has an air release. I already cut a piece here, and if I peel off the vinyl wrap and show you the back, it has this honeycomb pattern. So those are for the air release. Alright, guys. Before I do anything, I just want to test if this knifeless tape will be able to cut through this carbon fiber vinyl wrap. And the knifeless tape that I'm going to use is this 3M Finish Line knifeless tape. So let's test it out. So first, we're going to lay down this knifeless tape on the hood of the car just for testing purpose. Okay, once you have the knifeless tape down, you're gonna bring over the vinyl and put it on top of it. And you just wanna squeegee the vinyl down to the hood of the car. Make sure it's tight. All right, now let's start pulling out the knifeless tape here. So what we're gonna do, we're going to roll this like this and hold the edge with your thumb and just kind of snap it. So yeah guys, there you go. It's able to cut the 
the carbon fiber vinyl wrap pretty good. Last step we need to do before we're putting on the wrap here is we're gonna put a knifeless tape along the edges. So I'm just going to wrap just this gray trim piece right here and I'm going to use a knifeless tape and I'm gonna put the tape on around the edges right there so I can cut the vinyl wrap right on that edges. Alright guys, I'm finally done putting the knifeless tape all around the edges from one end all the way to the other end. And if you see closely, you have this ridge right here where the white paint meets the gray paint. So you want to tuck in your knifeless tape right inside this ridge. And first of all, make sure that you leave a couple of extra inches of knifeless tape at the end so that way you have something to grip when you want to start the cut. But start from one end and work your way all the way to the other end. And now we're finally ready to wrap. Alright guys, so I already kind of outlined this left side right here and really your heat gun or your hair dryer is going to be your best friend here because just take your time, you know, start with the middle first, that's what I did. I start here and make sure that everything sticks, there's no bubble, there's no wrinkle and then I work my way to the edge. And again, as you, you're going to have to lift up a little bit and then put hair dryer and put it back down and kind of smoothen it out just with your hand. Alright guys, I finally wrapped the entire gray trim and I just want to quickly show it to you up close before I start cutting. So you can see I wrap it from one corner all the way to the other corner and it looks really really nice guys. However, it is very challenging. Now, this is my first time ever wrapping anything and it took me a good 3-4 to four hours in wrapping this. And like I told you before, your heat gun or your hair dryer is going to be your best friend. Because these curves here all the curves right there, right here, right there, and the edge right there, it is extremely challenging. But what's good about this vinyl wrap is that, you know, if you mess up, you can just pull it back up and then apply some heat, and then you can reapply it back. It has a memory, so when you apply heat, it's gonna transform back to the original shape, and you can reapply it back. So you just have to be patient in doing this. Next step, we're gonna start cutting and we're going to trim this piece first here that I already put a knife -less tape underneath. And I already start breaking the string from the tape here. The string didn't break, so this knifeless tape is good to cut uh, using a, a carbon fiber video. And now, the moment of truth here. But there you go, guys. The knifeless tape works, and all you gotta do next is just pull this. If we do that, we're going to apply some heat 
to the edges to make sure they stick. I cut off all the excess vinyl wrap, which means that we are officially done. Now, I didn't really show you when I cut off the excess vinyl wrap, but I just used a knife and then I tuck in the excess vinyl wrap right here on the back panel. But here is the final product. As you can see, it looks really, really nice. It looks much better than the original gray color. And I love this carbon fiber pattern right here. It gives such a unique look to this panel. There are still some very minor imperfections around the corner, some in the edge, but you can't really see that. But, you know, this is my very first time in ever wrapping anything, so I'm pretty happy with the result. All right, so let's put this panel back onto the truck and see how it looks on the car. All right, you wanna make sure you align all the screws and all the pins to the holes. And there's the seal right here, so you wanna make sure that this black panel goes under the seal. This is the seal that I was talking about. So when you put back the panel, make sure that this panel is under the rubber seal. We're gonna put back the access door cover. 